coming to the next phytohormone, gibberlins. Right. So gibberlins are naturally occurring phytohormone. Naturally occurring phytohormone. The effect of these hormones was first discovered by Japanese farmers. In paddy fields. So you have seen many rice plants were growing abnormally tall without flowering. So they have observed that without flowering and fruiting, without flowering and fruiting, many plants are growing tall. So people of Japanese call this as foolish seedling, seedling disease. Foolish seedling disease. Bakane disease or they called as Bakane disease. This was due to infection of the plants by fungus called. So, infection by fungus called Gibberella fusicoroi. Gibberella fusicoroi, which is now known as. Fusarium heterosporum. Fusarium heterosporum. So, E. kurosawa. E. kurosawa. Reported the appearance of symptoms of disease in uninfected rice seedlings. When they treated with sterile filtrate of fungus. When they are treated with sterile filtrate of fungus, so the uninfected right seedlings, so they showed the symptoms. And Yabuta and Sumuki in 1938. Isolated this substance and this substance from fungus and named it as gibberlin. So, brain has and its associates also worked on pure sampling of gibberlin and called it as gibberlic acid. So, Brain and his associates named it as gibberlic acid. So, gibberlins are care of, of the class of organic compounds called sesquiterpenoids. So, we call this as sesquiterpenoids. So, gibberlic acid will come under the category of terapenoids. This seems to be synthesized mostly in leaves. More than 50 types of gibberlins are isolated from different plants. So, they have seen 50 types of
jibber lens are isolated and they called it as ga1 ga2 ga3 ga4 and so on so they called it as ga1 ga2 ga3 ga4 like that 50 GA3 is the naturally occurring gibberellic acid. Out of this, all GA3, this is the naturally occurring gibberellic acid. This is uh, free from PYQs. Coming to the physiological effects. so their ability to increase the length of axis and increase the length to increase the length of grape stalks length of axis increases example you can see the length of grape stalks Gibber lens are used to increase the fruit size in apple, and we call the elongation of apple. Increase fruit size in apple. Called elongation of apple. They also delay the senescence. you also delay the senescence which means old age so it will delay the senescence which means old age so that uh, the fruits are left to the trees for longer period so because of the market period and ga3 is used to speed up the malting process even in brewing industry speed up malting process so they increase alpha amylase and proteases so the activity in improving the malting in barley so mainly you can see this in barley sugar cane stores carbohydrates in their stems so we know this spraying the sugar cane crop with gibber lens increase the length of the stem so to increase length of stem by spraying gibber lens ga it means gibber lens so that's how we can increase the yield by as much as 20 tons per acre so we can increase the yield by 20 tons per acre so spraying juvenile conifers with gibber lens so once young conifers will hasten the maturity period so that early speed per seed production will be there
So mainly uh, is used for bolting and flowering. It stimulates the rapid stem elongation into bolt-like structure. So we call that process as bolting. And transformation of shoot axis into floral axis, we call that as bolting. Transformation of shoot axis to floral axis. The floral axis based flowers. Gibbalins thus thus inducing early flower in in beet, cabbage, and many plants. It throws a habit. It stimulates the seed germination. And reduces the dormancy of seeds. And used for elongation of internodes, thus the stem height will increase. So, stem height increases. Okay, so remember one thing oxen for pineapple and gibber lens is for grapes so g for g and the japanese people is the first people who discovered the gibber lens and there are 50 different types of gibber lens are there but ga3 is the naturally occurring gibber lens. coming to the oxen oxen is also growth promoter but uh, when it comes to gibber lens mainly it uh, participate in the internode elongation but oxens will participate in the entire length elongation and parthenocarpy so all these things, both will be having almost the same type of thing, but there are certain things which will be quite different. And these gibberlins are extracted from fungus. And auxins are actually extracted from oat seedlings, mainly from coleoptile. You can find auxins, more amount of auxins in the meristematic regions. So that's it regarding these two hormones, growth promoters. Thank you.